These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hi there, I'm Nohe Lani Graf with your afternoon update on this Tuesday from ABC 15 Arizona. On this Super Tuesday, as it's known, 15 states are holding their Republican presidential primaries. Here in Arizona, we still have two weeks to go before our presidential preference election. The Maricopa County Recorder says 340,000 early ballots have been returned so far. That's over 20% of all eligible voters. You can still request an early ballot through Friday. The last day to mail your ballot in is March 12th, and then Election Day itself is on March 19th. And you know, today really does mark the start of political advertisement money flowing into battleground states like Arizona. So here's ABC 15's Jordan Bonke with a deep dive into the numbers. Well, this is a don't say we didn't warn you moment here. You know, if that general election gets closer and closer on November 5th itself, when you're watching TV, you're watching a streaming service, or maybe you're watching something on YouTube, even listening to the radio, when it cuts to commercial, it could be block to block, just political ads. Millions and millions of dollars were the political ads. No one here is going to be able to escape the advertisement. That's partially because in Arizona, voters aren't just going to vote for a presidential choice, but also a key Senate seat, which could decide the balance of control in Congress. Ad Impact is projecting $821 million in broadcast political ad spending for this election cycle. That's $300 million higher than in the 2022 election cycle. And to experts, that's a clear sign that Arizona is a purple state. There's been decades of Republican dominance, but Democrats have won the state's last three U.S. Senate elections. And out of all 50 states, only California will see more revenue from political ads. But that media market is bigger than any in Arizona, making media costs triple of what's charged here. ABC 15's political data analyst Garrett Archer. Rhetoric's going to ramp up increasingly more. Expect on the Republican side to see hammering on the border. Uh, expect on the Democratic side to see hammering on sort of what they call protect democracy. Uh, and I think this is really where the, the lines are going to be drawn for this next election. And whatever candidates want to say on those ads, the First Amendment allows them to essentially say whatever they want. Political ads are very well protected by the FCC uh, as far as First Amendment speech. They can say a a lot. They can get away with a lot. And again, we have to carry these ads. Uh, they show up on YouTube. They show up on cable. Uh, but again, they're, they're not fact checked because especially in broadcast, we must accept them. Ad Impact estimates that it's going to be over $10 billion, that's billion with a B, that are spent nationwide on political ads this election cycle. That's a record. More than $2 billion, again, with a B, just on the presidential race alone. So what could $1 billion buy you? It could buy you the Miami Marlins. It could buy you a family vacation to space. It could even buy you a private island or one of those super yachts where you can land a helicopter on top. It's a lot of money, all spent on commercials and political ads. We're reporting outside the Maricopa County Election Office. Jordan Bonke, ABC 15, Arizona. You can join the Phoenix Rising for a good cause. The team needs your help to boost blood donations in the state during American Red Cross Month. They want to encourage the community to donate, especially if you carry type O blood, which is the universal blood type. And also, if you donate this month, you can score two free tickets to any regular season home game this season. Phoenix Rising will kick off its eighth season and defend that title this Saturday at 730. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Temperatures climbing all the way into the upper 70s today as we start to see those temperatures trend up even further. Today, a couple degrees warmer than it was yesterday. Phoenix will top out at 77. We'll make it to 75 out at Lake Havasu, 60 in Prescott and in Payson. And it's 50s today for Flagstaff. Then tomorrow, that temperature climbs another couple degrees and Phoenix tops out at 79. You will notice more clouds today, more clouds again tomorrow, but it'll be dry through midweek. And then Thursday, we've got a storm system moving in that's going to crank up the winds drop temperatures and bring a chance for a few showers of the valley, primarily Thursday morning. We'll see a chance for rain on Thursday, then a lingering chance for showers Friday in the high country. Expect some light snow on Thursday with a chance for showers on Friday, maybe even to early Saturday for northeast Arizona. One to two inches of snow possible in spots like Flagstaff. Otherwise, light rainfall amounts here in the valley getting cooler too before we warm back up with highs here in Phoenix back in the 80s starting Sunday.
Be sure to check back in with us for another update tonight. But until then, you can always get the latest news, weather, and traffic alerts at abc15.com or while you're on the go by downloading our free ABC 15 app. Make it a great day. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.